Let us pray. Gracious God, may the words of my mouth, may the meditations of our hearts and our minds, our very spirits, may these be acceptable, O God, in your sight, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Well, love, love changes us. It redeems us. It gives us life. And it gives us new life. A more precious, a more compassionate, more joyous and generous life than we could ever have imagined before. Before that love came into our lives. That is the Easter story which we celebrated last week. God's love, complete, sacrificial, generous. It changes everything. The same power of love is also told in the children's story of the Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams. A picture of the Velveteen Rabbit is on the front cover of your bulletin. Marjorie Williams writes this. The modern mechanical toys acted very superior over all the other toys in the nursery, observed the skin horse, who had seen a long succession of mechanical toys arrive in the nursery, boasting of their greatness, swaggering about with their bells and their whistles, only eventually to break their mainsprings and get tossed away. These modern mechanical toys would never experience the magic that lived in the nursery. They would never fulfill their dreams of becoming real. Real. What is real? asked the Velveteen Rabbit of the skin horse. Does it mean having things inside of you that buzz or a fancy stick out handle? Oh no, said the skin horse. To become real has nothing to do with how you're made or how you look. Nor is it something that you can do for yourself. It's something that happens to you. When a child loves you, for a long, long time. Not just to play with, but really loves you. Their love begins to change you. And it makes you real. Does it hurt? Said the rabbit. Yes, sometimes it does, says the skin horse. But when you're real, you don't worry about getting hurt. Does it happen all at once, like being wound up? Or does it happen bit by bit, wondered the rabbit. It happens slowly, bit by bit, said the skin horse. That's why it doesn't often happen to people who break easily, or people that have sharp edges, or are easily offended. Generally, by the time love changes you, most of your hair has been rubbed right off. Your eyes begin to droop a little, and overall, you get a little shabby. But those things, they don't matter at all, because once you have been changed by love, you can never be, and you can never feel unsightly, or ugly, or unworthy again. Then one evening, when the boy was going to bed, his Nana was unable to find his regular toy, so she put the Velveteen Rabbit into the boy's arms. And that night, and many nights thereafter, the rabbit slept in the boy's bed. The Velveteen Rabbit was very happy. So happy that he never noticed how his beautiful Velveteen fur was getting shabbier and shabbier, or his tail was becoming unsewn, and his pink 
nose was rubbing down where the boy had kissed it each night. If you look at that picture on the front of your cover, you can tell that most of the fur, that velveteen fur, is gone. <laughs> the only thing that's left is that velveteen fur right there on his tummy. He was loved that much. And wherever the boy went, the rabbit went too. He had rides in a wheelbarrow, he had picnics out in the yard, and once, when the boy was called away suddenly, the rabbit was left out in the lawn. Long after dark, Nana had to go look for the rabbit with a candle because the boy could not sleep unless he had his beloved rabbit. Fancy all that fuss, Nana said, for a toy. You mustn't say that, said the boy. He isn't a toy. He's real. When the rabbit heard that, something sprung alive within him. Finally, he knew what the skin horse had said was true. The nursery magic, it had happened to him. He was a toy no longer. He was real. He was alive. And it was love that had made him so. That night, the rabbit was almost too happy to sleep. So much love stirred in his little sawdust heart that it almost burst. And into his boot button eyes that had long ago lost their polish, there came a sparkle of life and of beauty. So much so that even Nana noticed it the next morning. Well, I wonder this morning, if anyone can notice the sparkle of new life in our eyes. Now that Easter has come and it's gone, now that Jesus has showed us all that despite our being very shabby indeed and radically imperfect, despite not having all the bells and whistles that some people have, or a perfect faith, or even the best, most faithful behavior, nevertheless, Jesus loved us so much that he was willing to give up his life that we may live. That our joy, as scripture said, may be complete. So that we might know God's love, complete, sacrificial, generously forgiving, has the power to change us. To soften our sharp edges, to make our every lack whole. If if we but let that love in. If we believe in the power of God's love. If we breathe it in, make it a part of our lives and have it sparkle, yes, from our eyes, but also from everything we do. Every act we engage in. Greatness as demonstrated by Jesus, as described in the Velveteen Rabbit, is the ability to change the world, to bring life and vitality to another, to make our best hopes, not just hopes, but to make them real. Real. All through the power of love. That is greatness. That is the stories that we have been invited into, which is Easter. Of course, it's risky. As the skin horse said, it may hurt a little bit. And yes, by the time love finally changes everything, we will no doubt 
be a little more shabby. But in this world, that is the only way that the light and the love of God that dawn that very first Easter morning will shine and will be real and come alive still today. May it be so in Egypt.